when we had last left the Spacefarer. Their adventures on Neon were beginning with Billy Clayton, who needed a little bit of help with a threatening loan shark. And so the Spacefarer went and managed to convince them to give it all up. And so Clayton, Billy Clayton, decided to help him out and give him some new leads on more people involving the ship thief and who they were working for and all that business. Now with the new leads in tow and two different desperate places to check out, the Spacefarer actually decided to help Sam Coe instead look for Lillian. <laughs> this is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we go. Let's get to it, huh? To make sure we're tracking the correct thing. Yep. Look for Lillian's confidential informant. Good. Okay. Head on out over here. Good, good, good. Should we take a nap? Oh, no, I can't sleep here. Wait, can I sleep in Lillian's bed? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is, is this Lillian's room? Why does, uh... Why does old uh, Beardo face over here sleep in the fucking bed? Oh, this is the cell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is probably... Okay, this makes more sense. All right. Sure, sure. Wild that they do just sleep down here, though. <laughs> right? On the same floor as, like, the lobby and literally the jail. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Let's head on out over here. Okay, and then over this way. Hopefully we don't get wrapped up in a whole bunch of Ryujin shit just yet. We'll see. Ryujin Apartments. So I think maybe... Personally, I think Neon's the heart of the Freestar Collective. Jesus. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one hell of a way to look at it. Fucking A. <laughs> what does that say about the rest of the organs and body? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, not the best neighborhood. Whoa, what is this shot? Uh, hi, Sam. Oh. <laughs> Door's locked. Well, yeah. You'd have to be certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. What are you doing? Picking the lock. What? Where the hell did you learn to do that? A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Where's her little digi pick? Uh, I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. The lock's dead simple. It's, well, child's play. I mean, it is kind of like a, a little children's game, isn't it? It's like matching shit up. <laughs> she's something, all right. Are you really that surprised? You really that surprised? No, she's a little sponge. Always has been. Just soaking up books and learning like no one's business. But Vladimir and I are gonna have some words. Eh, she's something all right. Ain't that the truth. But seriously, dragging her all over creation? Eh, maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let alone uh, some of the other stuff just <laughs> just a bit ago. If it keeps up, Cora's going to be amazing when she grows up. That's something to think about. Lillian may very well be right. What's your problem with that? Hmm. Is this a normal question, or is this one that's going to advance us? I feel like it's a normal one, because there's three options here. What is your problem with that? I mean, I can understand what the problem is, for sure. I just want to hear them out. All this hustle and bustle... I know the allure. I fell for it. It's all champagne and pop rocks until the bill comes due. Hmm. I mean, it's something to think about. Or more likely something to keep me awake at 2 a.m. I mean, I know you said Constellation's good for her. You really think that? Even now? Lock's done. Well, I guess that's our cue. Right. I mean, that's normal. Oh, fuck! Cora, Cora, don't look in there! Whoa! Maybe, uh, hey, Sam, maybe take Cora back to the, uh, the warehouse full of armed soldiers working for a corrupt <laughs> businessman. Maybe take her back there. 
She may not, she may not want to come in here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Jesus. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. fuck. We'll stay away from this. I mean it, Cora. We'll investigate. If that's the CI, does that mean mom... Mom's as tough as they come. It does mean that whatever she's involved in, uh, it's not some milk run. Yeah, what does something like this? Look at th this. is not just a regular, like, fucking gunfight. No, it is. Right? Well, no, is it? No, that's like a blunt weapon or whatever, huh? Is that a gunshot? No shot. No shot, that's a shot. That ain't no shot. No shot. <laughs> yeah, th this is like someone took their head to a fucking baseball bat that was like... Well, it's like, it's like someone got hit by a super sledge, let's be real. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what the fuck? What does this? When I shoot people, is there even blood like this? There's, like... This is one of the things about Starfield, right, relative to, uh, certainly Fallout, which is very egregious in, like, an over-the-top kind of goofball way at times. But, um, also, Elder Scrolls, of BGS's stuff, sometimes there's, there, well, like, for the most part, there's very little in the way of blood or gore or dismemberment or anything, you know? And the few times that there is, it's usually not even this extreme. Like, this is probably the most we have ever seen in the entire game. All from one dude. Pretty wild. Oh, makes me hungry. <laughs> I think I'll eat one of these sandwiches. Alright, well. Confidential informant. Fuck me. And I thought the, the scene at uh, the... The Red Mile was wild. Okay. Well, did you pick? Hey. Hey. No? Okay. <laughs> well, let's get the scanner going. I like the eerie silence. Okay, well... Let's peek around here. Do we think they have security or anything? Oh, here we go. A slate all the way over here. Weird. Okay. Victor compound. Is it a compound for Victor or what? Managed to bribe a transport pilot who got some footage of Victor compound. Their last name is compound? Pilot counted a whole mess of syndicate goons, at least 10 plus. He sold me his ID badge for 1,000 credits. Wouldn't sign for it, so the rangers will just have to take my word. The rest of the slate contains further details on Victor Compound. The compound is on McClure, too, and it lists the coordinates. There are digital records of a fake ID and details of a cover story to infiltrate the compound. There are no references to Lillian Hart. Hmm. Victor compound. Maybe it is a compound, like a location. All right. Hey. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> yeah, Cora, I'm having a better day than uh, <laughs> than this fucking guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, kid? Having a way better day than some people. <laughs> what the fuck? Read any good books lately? Looks like you were right about Lillian being in trouble. Mom always says, listen to your gut. And hunches. When we get out of this, I'm so going to make her read some Sir Conan Doyle. Can you believe she's never read The Hound of the Baskervilles? Oh my god. Uh, Sam, uh, we need to talk. You know what we were talking about? We we need to get Cora out of this. <laughs> Look, I thought she'd be she'd be able to handle it, but I think she's adapted too well. And she's become completely desensitized to, to shit like this. Like, like she... Sam, I don't know if you heard, but Cora is just... This is just like Tuesday to her. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you must have a favorite book, right? 
Oh, that's my favorite question. I've thought a lot, lot, lot about this. It's a very important choice, after all. My favorite book is... Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It's about some explorers who go down a volcano and find a secret underground world below Earth's surface. It's a great story, even with the scientific inaccuracies. Back when it was written, people didn't know the center of the Earth is a huge ball of molten metal. Oh, okay. Let's see. Sam, take a look at this. Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Shit. Sioka Syndicate. Some Victor compound. Some stuff about fake IDs and cover details. Lillian's doing a deep cover up on the Syndicate. We have to go to Victor Compound then. Looks like Cora was right. How bad is this? How bad is this? Oh, it's bad. The Syndicate is a mean customer. Even the Rangers don't tussle with them unless they have an important reason. <sighs> Lillian, what the hell were you up to? Shit, it looks like Cora was right. Well, she's got smarts aplenty. <sighs> Cora, listen to me. This is too dangerous. No. The Syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful, promise. If mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't suppose I can talk either of you out of this. Cora needs to promise to stay out of harm's way. If you were in her shoes, you'd do the same. How old is Cora again? Like, my god. <laughs> This is this is wild. You really want me to have Cora along for this after just seeing the grisly graphic blood splatter everywhere? The dead guy tossed up against the bed and everything? It's like the most graphic thing in the entire fucking game. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't suppose I can talk either of you out of this. She's too much of a code to be left behind. Thanks, Dad. All right. Let's go find your mother. God, do you think one of them's gonna die during this? I mean, probably not Sam, right? God, could you imagine if they had it to where Cora died? Oh my god. Like, I would say probably not Sam because, you know, he's a main follower or whatever, right? There's no fucking way. They don't have the fucking guts to kill off one of the two of them, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's go have a look. There we are. I can't believe we... <laughs> this is like the the worst time to, <laughs> to even be like, Yeah, let's bring the kid with us. After we just see like this graphic shit. It's not like this is a post-apocalypse or whatever, right? Where it's like, yeah, I mean, what what little option do we have? We need an extra set of eyes. Yeah, why don't we just get fucking Barrett or Sarah or fucking Vasco to come along, right? Literally anybody else on the ship except for your child. <laughs> Good God. We're not exactly short on people that we can trust or whatever, right? We have resources. It's not the end of the fucking world. We don't need to have a kid around with us for this. Okay, let's head on out. Private sector. Or I guess we can maybe just travel straight up out there. There we go, McClure. Right next to Bradbury. All right, let's see. Oh, Corico is no longer following. It said. McClure too. Victor compound over there. Picking up a couple science outposts. Scan a moon. Nothing much. Nothing much there. What is this? What type of moon is this? Oh, it's an asteroid. 
It's a very, it's a micro moon. Okay, sure. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, let's go over here to Victor Compound. Here we are. The piloting skill unlocks lateral thrusters and allows you to pilot more advanced ships. What are lateral thrusters? <laughs> I guess we'll learn. Right, these are the thrusters that we've heard about. Okay, let's get up. We'll take a little rest. Man, this plant looks kind of cool, actually. Lost right. in my thoughts, but glad to be back. There we are. Down here. Take a rest. Great. The galaxy ain't gonna conquer itself. Okay. Oh. Yeah, look at this. This is gorgeous. Touchdown. Can you give me a second? I still know some Ranger secure frequencies. This is Ko. Hart, you there? Please respond. Hart here. Acknowledged. And frequency secure. That's how Sam? it sounds? Sam, what are you doing here? Mom! Oh, you gotta be. Sam, you didn't bring my daughter here, did you? Not the time or place. What's your status? We will be talking about this later. <sighs> Cover is intact for now, but the clock's ticking down fast. Too fast. A distract and extract should do it. Like old times. Great. Just great. And Sam, if even one hair on Cora's head gets hurt... We are 110% on the same page. Comes out. Was she talking through the slate or telepathically in our minds? <laughs> what was the audio modulation on that? All right. Yo, Sam. All right. Well, time for us to make an entrance. You're still in, right? Yeah, of course I'm in, Sam. We came all this way. Let's just do it. What's a distract and extract? What is that? She needs us to distract the syndicate so she can shed her cover and then make it to the extraction point. Yeah, we've done a couple of runs like this before. Hope I'm not too rusty. All right, yeah, we came all this way. Let's just do it. You, uh, you were something else. Come, up. take my binoculars from my bag. You're our eyes, okay? You tell us about anything you see. Roger. You move one solitary inch away from that perch, and you will be grounded until you're 30. I am not kidding. This is my deadly serious face, yeah? I got it. I got it. I won't move. Good. Oh, this has to be the most half-baked idea. Okay, let's make it happen. All right. What perch is she going to? Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, let's head over. Hey, Victor Compound. Something? Yeah, I'm picking up Victor Compound. Do you know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So how are we supposed to distract him? Just shoot the shit out of everybody, or what? Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Ugh. Ah. Okay. Jesus, there's ones on the fucking top? Oh, wait, hold up. Let's eat a, a little food. A little tea. Let's see here. There we go. Alright. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's a rib crack. Ah! 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 
Good. Let's take that. Good. What's the gravity on this planet? 0.4? Not half bad. Damn, one shot you? With a crit? I can't see! Whoa, what is that? Hauler's Calibrated Deep Seeker Balanced Pack. Eh, it ain't that good. Syndicate Thug Suit. I really don't care for that. <laughs> I don't I don't like what's going on there. That's that's no good. No. Okay, I'll take that gun though. You can sell that off somewhere. Okay. Anything else here? Or should we go through this later? Yeah, we should probably go through this later. I'll take the healing though. Let's see if we can get an eye on him. making stupid moves. Get that. Good. Fucking hey, shit is blowing up. Okay. blown up by some long distance shit. Look at this shit. Man, they got little guard towers and shit. Okay. Uh-oh. Throwing some grenades over here. Okay. Uh, let's see. 15% less energy damage. 25 airborne resist. Whoa, plus 40 carry capacity. Oh my god, what? That's really good, isn't it? What do I currently have? Doesn't even tell me the... Oh, there we go. Holy shit. Oh, man. That's really good. 40 extra... I'm taking that, dude. I'm just going to wear it. And it looks kind of cool. I don't mind that we lose out on a lot of durability here. We're already doing pretty well in combat. I don't mind sacrificing some damage resist. Got that fucking turret dealt with. Good. Med packs. Grenades. Butter. Spaghetti. I'll leave that. Okay. Person just standing next to like a massive amount of explosives. <laughs> okay. Wow, you survived it? Oh, what's this robot doing? Little secret robot. I thought that robot was about to say, I am taking damage. I am dead. Uh. Nice of you to drop in there. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Some bridger ammo. Okay, over here. Credits. Easily shells. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Tesla pilot out of the mines. Don't need them. <laughs> I 
I'm used to someone else riding captain. Okay. Lovely. Let's get healed up a bit. Make sure we're all reload before we head in here. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just one of those. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you okay there, bud? Oh, look. He's got a Morrowind enchant. Okay. Or maybe Oblivion, more like. Let's do a quick save. Get in here. Ugh. What the hell happened? They threw the soccer ball so hard? It broke it? Weapon case. Take that. Cool. Some worms. I can just eat worms. Good. Anything else here? Another spacesuit. Let's do a quick save. Boosted injector and some heals. Great. It's just a giant rock in here. The fuck is that noise? Jeez, shut that shit off. in the head. Man, I can't believe that doesn't just, like, wipe you the fuck out. <laughs> These fucking future bullets ain't built like they used to be. Okay. Are these all the same fucking person? What is this? Are these fucking clones? Look at this! What is this? They're all the same fucking person! What's going on? <laughs> it just occurred to me they all sound exactly the same. <laughs> they all look the same too! Is that what's going on here? These are all fucking clones? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Okay, this person ain't a clone. Looting the dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is problem. Wait, this person is, though. Wait, a lot of these people... What the fuck is up? Is this intentional, or have I just had a weird fucking glitch in the Matrix? <laughs> okay, we're here. Look, yeah! What the fuck is going on, dude? We know cloning exists. I don't know if this is just the game being weird or if these are honest to god fucking clones. <laughs> okay. They didn't mention anything about this shit. Can I rest, by the way? Oh, look at that. I don't mind Time if I do. Our paychecks. Okay, over here. Good. Sam, you do get paid. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, good. Take all those. Med pack. Wait, I think a bear wolf is a gun. Let's see if these are clones too. I don't think so. Or at least they got different hair. See if we can tell where the others went. Got you. Okay, looks like there's gonna be some big super showdown in that other room. Anything good in these bathrooms? Oh, Bad People, Bad Jokes 3. I don't know if I'd read that one. Infantry Alpha. Okay. Prototype equipment. Oh, it looks neat. What? Chandra Malbec. I'll drink it. Okay. 
Okay. Old Earth Baseball. It's worth a lot. Bourbon. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, hey, a whole bunch of lockers, I guess, we can look through. Recon stim. Stir fry. Some ramen. Chunks. A little fun hat. Ooh, a digi pick. Okay. That everything? I think so. Let's get quick saved and head in here. Oh, no. No super major rumble. Look at this oh, fucking shit. weapon. I never get this. There we go. Well, 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 you must be Lillian, huh? What was that one weapon that person had over here, by the way? Modified Magstorm, that's what it is? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, what? Taking it. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Hey, Lillian, you're alive. You're the new ranger, right? I see the stories about you weren't exaggerated. Thanks. Looks like I get to play hero for once. I gotta say, your time is spot on. My cover was hours from being blown to hell. We have a lot to talk about, but let's get to your ship first. I'll meet you there. The sooner we get out there, the better. We safe now? Except for any stragglers, yes. By the time they send some reinforcements, we'll be long gone. I did say thanks, right? How do you know about me? Let's just say you made quite the impression on my daughter. Uh-oh. I kind of wish I didn't know so much about you, honestly. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll meet you there. I can't wait to put this place behind me. I thought she had her own, like, drop zone or whatever from the sounds of it. Or extraction zone. Damn. Do you know she didn't even say anything to Sam? <laughs> okay. Anything else? Got some granola. Little coffee bag. How much ammo have we got for this Magstorm heavy weapon? Looks dope as shit. I got a decent amount. Holy hell, this thing looks fucking rad as hell! Okay, hang on, let's just shoot it a bit, just for fun. Fuck, look at it! Look at this shit, my god. Ah! Holy shit. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's reload. <laughs> what weapon type is the Bridger? Is that also a heavy weapon? I'm super curious about that. Let's see. Or is it just classified as, like, explosive? It is a heavy weapon. Dude, we should just fucking say fuck it and go specialize into heavy weapons. Because apparently all the weapons I like in this game that I think look cool are fucking... Heavies. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Let's just eat all these oranges. I'm like a fucking cartoon character. Look at this. It's just some big mech leg. <laughs> okay. Jeez, it's dark in here. Yeah, they don't really have much in the way of lighting. Okay. Little tiny fun teacups. With a tripod situation so they don't fall over, I guess. Okay. Some goodies there. 
Technician's Advanced Deep Recon Spacesuit. Meh. Better armor than our current one, but we don't really need the armor, do we? We're kind of alright. I'm willing to trade that for more encumbrance on our person. Like, a whopping 40 more just thanks to the FX, let alone mods that we can throw on it. It'll be especially useful if we decide to go into heavy weapons. I think the big, uh, the big difficulty with that is getting ammo for him, you know? Oh, you just hanging out here? We have to deal with the syndicate before things get out of control. Let's just exhaust all this. Sam told me how he joined the Rangers. Why did you help him out? He did? That's some serious ancient history. Mm. Well, we came across what remained of the pirates that attacked him, and the way he flew, fearless, brave, unpredictable. If there were any contraband on his ship, that would be such a waste of tailing. Fortunately, any cargo he had was jettisoned in the fight. Understood? How did you get stuck in Victor Compound? A confidential informant was supposed to arrange transport off that rock. But I lost contact with him. The Syndicate got to him. And it was only a matter of time before they found me out. I owe you for the assist. Why didn't Sam know about you and Cora talking? It's complicated. Oh, so complicated. Cora is the one who reached out to me a couple years ago. We exchanged messages. Then the little scam convinced me to join a book club with her. I mean, books are fine, but the looks I got from my fellow rangers reading Alexander Dumas, <laughs> we do strange things for kids. All right. Another time. Sure. Let's see. I think we cleared out all the loot from their bods, right? I think. To the victor goes the Maybe sport. not. I said that right, right? Anything over here? Got a safe we can peek in if we really want. Fuck it. It's been a while since we did one. Okay. That maybe is it. Good. Okay. And then... Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there we are. Great. Take that. Another copy of Bad People, Bad Jokes 3. Anything else here? A sextant? It's not that valuable, actually. Hookah canisters. Smokes. Microsecond regulator. Kind of heavy, though. Oh, shit. I should have just taken the Boom Pop beer rather than drinking it forgot temporarily that we do actually need that. Okay. Good. Alright. Got a little storage area back here. It's locked up. Let's see about this. That's got to be this one, right? Yeah, couldn't be anything else. Okay. Unless I was just incorrect. Which... <laughs> now, now that I say it, maybe it was just incorrect. Fucking A. Okay. There we are. Good. Then lovely. Oh, we got fuel rod. Ooh, sentient AI adapters. Money. More money. 
Okay. Good. Eat some of this, get our health back up. Just gonna fucking eat everything here. Bunch of money. Bunch of cards as well. Sushi rolls. Oh, drinkable tea. Toast. Pita. Salmon filet. I don't think we've seen the salmon filet in a bit, if ever, in this game. Canuck bacon. Poutine. Cheesesteak chunk. Look at this. Man, we're fighting all sorts of food. I may actually get topped off to max health by just eating shit here. And we'll be close. Oh, I think it's individually wrapped salmon. Look, I think we... Yeah, I think we got capped out. Oh, is there actually a digipick here? Did I see that? No, I think I just read dish rag. Look, there's actual garbage inside of the garbage section. Huh. Okay. How about in this little room? Anything good here? Some various ammo types. Okay. Do I want to pop into the safe? Fuck it, we'll do it. Let's see. How about... That... Do, would we have a solution? Yeah, I think we would. This. There we go. Good. You make that too damn easy. easy. Okay. Let's get on out of here, I think. Did we look through all these? Yeah, I think we got everything important. All right. Should we look more around the exterior of Victor Compound? I'm not sure. Not sure if the magazines and whatnot, like if there is even one out here. Hmm. More explosives. Right, because normally if there were a magazine or a little booklet that we could get, wouldn't it have been in the interior? Maybe not, though. Okay, I remember coming in here. Meal kit, prototype equipment. Hey, this prototype equipment looks very different from before. Huh. Semi-metal wafer. Okay. Anything else here? No, I think we're good. Hmm. A little novice something or the other. Burger, cola. Maintenance supervisor's computer. Okay, log one. Tank 3 sprung another leak today. We can only bandage this thing up so many times before we have to replace it. Sooner the better. Parker and Gonzalez are at each other's throats again. This job would be much easier if I didn't have to babysit. Parker's the one always starting crap, so I'll probably put him up for replacement if he keeps it up. Doesn't really like him anyway. I knew this was going to happen. Tank 3 is down for good now. Sprung the mother of all leaks yesterday and lost us 1,500 gallons plus. This will not reflect poorly on this crew. This will not reflect poorly on this crew. I'll make sure of that. Livingston won't hear the end of this. Okay. So he's going to try and blame it all on uh, what's-his-butt? I guess. Slurp some of this. Got some cartridges. How about on top here? More ammo. Can check over in this. And for the most part, we already looked at the the watchtowers, right? Heavy particle fuse. Knickknacks in there. 
Okay. Hmm. I don't think there's... Yeah. I think we've checked it all. Right? Well, maybe over here we haven't looked at this. We'll do a quick little once-over. Modify... Yeah, we popped that open during combat. Take that ammo. Good. Calibrate pacifier. Yeah, I remember running through there. There's that robot inside of the crates. Nothing there. Okay. This little building. Got ammo. Good. Maintenance supervisor's computer. Oh, same computer. <laughs> same, same. All right. Let's see. Take all that. Hey, holy shit. We found a magazine. Permanently increases laser weapon damage by 5%. Tracker's Alliance Preparedness Primer. Tracker's Primer. Number one. Get all those. Good. Okay. Let's be off then. Well, I guess we can just fast travel to the ship, huh? Here we are. Easy enough. Green, ready for what comes next. Okay, let's stand up and have a big talk. All right. Hey, Lillian. This is your ship, right? I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need some more assistance with my mission. Are you for real? Weren't you just chewing me out about putting Cora at risk? Thanks, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. It depends on what you're asking. You're such a hypocrite. Why don't you call in the Rangers? Why don't you call in the Rangers? I think the Sioka have found a way to intercept some of our secure transmissions. We can't trust traditional communication. I have a limited window where the intel I gathered is actionable, so I'm afraid it's just us. I mean, I agree that we should see this through, but it is fucked up that you came down on Sam so hard, for real. Like, he's right. You're such a hypocrite. If time wasn't of the essence, I would never put Cora in any danger. But it's the only option I see. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. And that's the job, Sam. You know that. There's a shipment of armaments coming in on a heavy freighter. The Duma. I know it's itinerary. But I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss. Valerie Mascara. Send me the cords, then. I can get behind taking out a syndicate ship. What do you think, Sam? Who is Valerie? What do you think? Yes. What do you think? Well, taking out one ship isn't that bad. And the goal is good. Always is with you, Lillian. Who is Valerie? The worst kind of criminal. She's smart. Too smart. She's convinced a number of the Sayoka to think outside the box. She has plans larger than Neon, and that makes her very dangerous. Alright. Send me the cords, then. Gladly. So we get the location of the cash from the Duma. Then we make our move. Thank you. <laughs> She's enjoying saying Duma a little too much. <laughs> All right. Well, shit. I suppose when next we come back, we're checking out the Duma. Right? What do you think about all this, Cora? If it weren't, I was so worried about Mom. Hmm? Okay. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. Uh, when next we come back, we're going to run on out there and check it all out. If you'd like to stick around, however, we are going to do a little bit of reading. How about we read? Let's see. Doctors. <laughs> a bit of a short one. Let's see here. Doctors. Are special vendors that heal ailments and sell helpful items. Doctors can buy and sell chems like med packs and affliction treatments. If you've taken damage, you can visit a doctor to be healed to full health. Doctors can also immediately heal an affliction and cure any addictions you may have. You know what? Let's read one more. 
Let's see. Invi. Run. Mental. Damage. The environments you explore can be harsh and full of hazards. Some hazards, such as dangerous weather, will deal environmental damage. Environmental damage lowers your maximum health and is represented as an orange bar on your health meter. Suits are able to protect from environmental damage, but only for a time. You, your watch will beep to notify you that your suit is taking environmental damage. The watch will beep faster as your suit runs out of protection. You can recover from environmental damage in ships, outposts, and other safe places, where you can relax and be shielded from the elements. Interesting. So it, it does just normally come back over time, right? Like, the bar will shrink when you're in a place that isn't actively dealing you environmental damage. Which is wild for, for how little environmental damage we really accumulate, you know? Right, maybe maybe there'll be a place or whatever we go to where we get a whole bunch of it way more rapidly, but for how easy it is to get rid of it, it's wild how conservative they play dishing it out, you know? I don't know. Like we said before in that one video, I would have loved to have seen them, like, really expand upon this, right? Sort of take the degree of preparedness that was necessary in Fallout 4 with radiation and whatnot, sort of expand that out to different environments where they behave slightly differently and there's different considerations to make. Would have fucking loved that. And maybe they could still do it in a future expansion or uh, update or whatever. You know? I would love to see that. All right. When next we come back, uh, we will head on out to Duma. Until next time, please take care of each other. Mm -hmm.